Hello, Cine Daisies. I am Jabby Kawai, joined by the dope, the wonderful Andrew Flash Gordon. Oh, thanks. And we're watching Pola, the official trailer starring Ajay Devgan and Tabu. This is playing in IMAX 3D. Mm. That, that sounds exciting. It's produced and directed by Ajay Devgan, the man himself. So, you guys, thanks so much for joining us. If you haven't already, do me a big favor. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications, and pretty please vote this up. Let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. If you haven't already, please make sure to check out Flash Trivia, a new thing that we've rolled out with Andrew Flash Gordon, hence the name. And just for clarification, some people think that it's a reference to to Flash from DC Comics. It is not. It's Flash Gordon. Flash. Ah. Hence the Flash, Andrew Flash Gordon. See? Yes. You guys are young. Do check that out. There's a link in the description below and pinned comment, hopefully, if everyone's doing their job. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. ہڑکڑے ڈیپارٹمنٹ Oh, what? What happened? I was like, is that, this is a very interesting, like, artistic choice for the yeah, trailer. Slow-mo. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> ہے <laughs> ہم 
where I think the storyline is going. The thing I love about trailers is when you don't know exactly what the storyline is, you just have an idea, but they don't give it away. I think that's a problem that we have in America. Is totally. Some, sometimes they just give way too much away. And when I'm not doing reactions with you, I try to stay away from trailers so that when I go into a film, I don't know as much. But I like that in this trailer. Like, I think I have an inclination of possibly where I might go, but I feel like maybe I don't know. Again, visually, it looks stylistic. I really liked a lot of the action sequences. The actors look like they have a lot of gravitas. I'm really looking forward to it. It looks really interesting. Let me show you the trailer to Kaiti. Hopefully, we don't have any issues right now with copyright. If you don't see a reaction to Kaiti and it just skips to the discussion, again, that's just because of copyright issues. So, here we go. <laughs> Sir, 840 crores, approx. Yes, sir. Sir, 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 sir. I say this is the first time I've seen subtitles with the little uh, musical signs purple like that. I'm yeah. like, that's cool. That's, uh, that's different. Mm. <laughs> Police <laughs> 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 That's interesting. You said that's the prequel to this film? Or? No, that's the original. That's the original. That's the, and the, the one you saw prior to this was the remake. So the original Kaithi is a Tamil film. Okay. And Bola is a Hindi uh, Bollywood film. I'm surprised I never told this to you. So sometimes what happens is if a film is successful in one region, mm -hmm. if it doesn't go pan-Indian like RRR did or Bahubali, you know, those films go pan-Indian, which means like it doesn't matter like what region you generally yeah, yeah, watch, yeah, yeah. you're probably going to watch that movie, right? So I guess Kaithi was not pan-Indian and that's why Ajay Devgan can make it, remake it in uh, Hindi. No, I mean, that makes sense because just like in American terms, when Arnold Schwarzenegger told James Cameron, hey, there's this movie I saw and I want to remake it with you and then they came up with True Lies. I forgot what movie they were remaking but... Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah you know, same, so, same idea. Yeah. yeah, and same thing with Departed. I know Departed was a remake of... Infernal Affairs. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, okay. No, that makes that makes more sense now. The trailer for that looked incredible. The trailer for this looked incredible. And I definitely want to see this when it comes out. Uh, is 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 it going to come out in streaming or is it going to be in, uh, it's in theaters? So, um... Yeah, but we, we'll get you to watch If you want to watch it with, well, I, you know, with the audience, then uh, we'll get you to watch it uh, streaming. I would definitely want to watch it with the audience because yeah. I, I want my I want to be able to share my reaction with you but again I, I like how stylistic it looks again possible undertones of police brutality I don't know but in terms of what I saw in that other trailer I didn't get that in uh, inference of police brutality it just looked like more this guy was just on a hey I just want to get to my daughter I don't know how much of that is going to be in this film but uh, either way again I like the action in this film the storyline does look interesting a lot of the cinematography and the shots in the action sequences look insane and I'm 
I, I want to see this really badly. I think there might have been, if I recall correctly, I hope I'm not mixing up the movies that I've watched or the shows that I've watched, but I feel like there was a scene in there where um, a bunch of cops are at a party and they get poisoned or something like that, and the main character is just trying to eat some like a dish that he made for himself after all these cops basically die from poisoning. And you don't know if that's it has poison or not? Well, the food he makes is not poisonous. Okay. Yeah, but he needs sustenance in order to get through the night while this other cop is like begging him to go do something. I think that the whole police brutality thing that you're picking up on, mm -hmm. I think that's definitely in there. But in Kaithi, what I recall more than anything is he just needs to get this job done so he can get back to his daughter. That's, yeah. that's his main thing. He just needs to get back to his daughter, which is less emphasized in the Jay Devkin one, but yeah. it's, it's present nonetheless. But, yeah, I was just going to say that kind of reminds me, I mean, a little bit less, but it kind of reminds me a little bit, sorry, I keep mentioning Arnold Schwarzenegger, kind of reminds me a little of Commando, where obviously he's got to get uh, through so much to get to his daughter. I've Commando. seen Commando, but I don't remember the thing about his daughter at all, so that's oh a very my, oh interesting Oh my God, connection. yeah, that's, that's, that's the whole movie. Oh. They, they kidnapped his daughter, they want him to go do a job, and he's got to kill them all in order to save his daughter. I just remember someone getting killed by a pipe. Or something yeah, like yeah, that. let off some steam. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yes. Uh, anyway, you guys, thanks so much for hanging out. Let us know what you feel in the comments below. If you've seen Kaithi, how do you feel about this? Because for me, it does. It definitely is following that trend that I've been seeing with Bollywood remakes, which is they take what is a uh, let's say, for lack of a better word, bombastic movie, and they then they <laughs> multiply the bombasticness by four mm. or five, and then just goes even more insane. And uh, yeah, I, I've just been seeing that sort of thing happen quite a few times with the, with these remakes, including the likes of uh, I think it was Vikram Veda with Rithik and Saif Ali Khan. So you That's guys, a movie with Vikram. No, no, the movie's called Vikram Veda. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was going to say, if it's a movie with Vikram, I you must know. see. Yeah, no, it was starring R. Madhavan and Vijay Sethupathi, if I'm not mistaken. So, you guys, thanks so much for hanging out. I'm Jabby Koi. This is... Andrew Flash Gordon. Peace out.